Hi guys, it's me, Tiffany G of TiffyGWrites.com. I'm a freelance writer and social media manager for small business owners and entrepreneurs. And I just wanted to pop on today to tell you guys about how I beat the Instagram algorithm and four super easy steps. So as you all know, or by now, if you're on social media or if you're on Instagram, you should know that Instagram has an algorithm and it's robotics. It's robots who automatically check everyone's profile to see what content is relevant. So if your content is deemed as irrelevant, then you won't get views, which is why your follower count goes down, why you won't see a lot of comments, why you won't see a lot of interactions on your profile. And on my own personal account, since I usually deal with my clients' accounts, I was seeing a low engagement rate. I was seeing a drop in my content. I was seeing lower amounts of comments on my page. I was losing followers and I was actually getting less likes on my content, even though I was posting consistently two to three times a day. So I'm going to tell you four easy steps I did to get my engagement rates back up and finally beat the 2019 Instagram algorithm. Okay. So the first thing I did was post on Instagram stories frequently, like all the time. So I would post, I'd say maybe 10 Instagram stories a day on it. And on every single story, I would add a hashtag that's relevant to the people that I'm trying to reach. So as a B2B business owner, I try to reach out to other business owners. So I might use the hashtag business owners, solopreneur, bookkeeper, things like that. So one way to beat the Instagram algorithm is to get on those Instagram stories. You can do like a behind the scenes. You can just screenshot your own posts and repost them on the, on the Instagram stories. Or you can just um, repost content from other viewers and tag them in your Instagram stories. That's really gonna be helpful, definitely do that. That was massive, but as I was looking at my insights, I needed to try a few more other things. So the other things that I did, I started reposting content from um, people in the hashtags I use. So. I don't use the same hashtags every time and I'll do a video on that later but when I use or if I search in the hashtag for example let's say solopreneur I'm gonna go on their live stories to see who's been posting content on there and then I'm going to interact on that content instead of just liking and commenting on my own timeline I spend a lot of time liking and commenting on posts outside of my timeline so on the discover page, on a hashtag in the search in, in the search discover bar. And that's where I would find people and comment on their content. And it's not a spammy weird content, but actually like, okay, this post is a good idea or thanks for that tip. Or just asking them a question about their content and genuinely building relationships on Instagram. So those are the first two tips. Instagram stories, number one. Number two, I started commenting and like, liking on people's posts outside of my timeline because if I only interact on my timeline, then that's the same people that always see my posts. And I was trying to get further reach. I was trying to also get my follower count up as well. So the third thing I started to do was post more selfies. Yes. I started to post way more selfies. Um, when I first started my Instagram account, it was most, mostly motivational quotes and like business inquiries and things like that. But I've been doing a lot more selfies, especially since it's warmer outside. And you don't always have to like do one selfie a day. You can do multiple selfies in different areas of the house and different areas like if you're out at a coffee shop, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Just post a selfie and people will love it because they actually want to see your face. They don't want you to hide behind a quote or your um, whatever you're hiding behind. Just get your face out there. Third, I went live. Or actually, I didn't go live. I just posted a video on Instagram of myself. And I never do that, which is also why I'm starting this YouTube channel. But I started just putting my face out there. And that's the third thing that you have to do. You have to start getting your face out there. Rather that's selfies, videos, whatever it is, just get your face out there and your follower count will go up. The last and fourth thing I did to finally beat the Instagram algorithm, the most updated algorithm I should say, because it will change again. Just, just wait. 
But the fourth thing that I did to change my Instagram algorithm is to DM people. Yes, DM people. Instead of just commenting on people's posts that I follow, I would actually DM them. And when I DM people, that confuses the algorithm or it changes it. I shouldn't say it confuses it, it changes it. So the people, whoever is already in my algorithm, Instagram's algorithm for my profile and doesn't see my content, I'm trying to find those profiles, find these people that I know follow me by notice that they haven't been liking my post which means they probably aren't seeing them so i would go to their profile and dm them and it doesn't have to be spammy or weird it could simply be replying to their stories that's an easy way to dm some somebody and um basically say that you agree with what they're saying you can um talk to them just say hey how have you been or what kind of business do you run or if you're a skincare brand or a blogger just start a conversation it's really simple and those are the top four ways that I beat the Instagram algorithm recently. So let's go over those again. I was using Instagram stories. I was direct messaging people. I was posting more selfies and I was posting my face out there. So if you try these four tips, like as soon as possible, tonight, tomorrow, this month, April, 2019, I guarantee you'll beat the Instagram algorithm, especially if you're posting two to three times a day, that's bare minimum, two to three times a day, and commenting frequently on people's posts and also following and unfollowing people. So that's all I have for you guys right now, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.